Hey guys, today in celebration of Halloween, we're gonna be exploding all these pumpkins with a mixture of calcium carbide and water. All right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That didn't go 100% to plan, but you know what does always go 100% to plan? Trees making oxygen. And that's why you should donate to Team Trees, which is a huge collaboration on YouTube headed by Mr. Beast to plant 20 million trees by the end of the year. And to plant a tree, all you have to do is donate $1. So to donate, all you have to do is go to teamtrees.org, select an amount uh, to donate, and then you can help plant a tree. I think it's really amazing how we can all come together and do something that'll really make a big impact. And I hope you guys can become a part of it and donate and help out. But with that being said, the reaction was done with a mixture of calcium carbide and water, which forms the very flammable and explosive acetylene gas. This reaction is a type of hydrolysis, as water breaks up and reacts with the calcium carbide. The hydrogen ion from the water bonds with the carbon ion to form the acetylene gas, and the remaining hydroxide, which is the OH, bonds with the calcium ion to form calcium hydroxide. And this reaction is very exothermic, and a lot of heat is produced, and that's before the acetylene is even ignited. And that gas is super flammable over a very wide range of mixtures with air. In fact, air mixed with between 2.3 and 83% acetylene can be ignited, which makes it pretty dangerous, so please don't try this one at home. Acetylene also burns extremely hot, and for that reason, it's commonly used in blowtorches. These blowtorches have a tank of both acetylene and oxygen gas, and when mixed together and ignited, it produces a super hot flame. In fact, it's over 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit and that makes it one of the hottest burning flames. And for that reason, it can cut through steel, or in my case, it can even cook sausages if the power goes out. Now this mixture of calcium carbide and water has also been historically used by miners as a lamp. In 1900, Frederick Baldwin patented a lamp that would slowly drip water onto a collection of calcium carbide rocks, in turn producing that acetylene gas and igniting a flame. So while this was eventually replaced by electric lamps, it was still a really big improvement over conventional candles, and it really shows the broad implications of chemistry in the real world. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video and blowing up pumpkins, please leave a like or subscribe. Please don't forget to donate to Team Trees. Thanks.